A very warm welcome, my dear John, to the College of Commissioner, and we put on this one so it's a bit easier. Um, a very warm welcome. Now, good to see you again, but good to see you for the very first time as the United States Special Presidential Envoy for Climate. It's, it's wonderful to have you here. It's wonderful to have a good friend back uh, in the European Union, and it's wonderful to uh, know that we have a friend again in the White House. So, um, Special Envoy for Climate, you see here a college of commissioners and the vice presidents who are working hard on our European Green Deal um, a bit more than a year ago in uh, December 2019. Um, we agreed, uh, together with 27 member states, heads of state and government, to, be in, to, to commit to the goal to be in 2050 the first climate neutral continent. And you know, of course, with an ambition comes a roadmap, um, come uh, different uh, milestones in between. Now uh, we've set the goal in 2030 to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55%. And behind this dry number is an enormous amount of work and effort and transformation. And um, therefore, uh, we were, of course, delighted when uh, we saw President Biden, uh, his first day in office, joining again the Paris Climate Agreement. And um, last Friday, I had the pleasure and the honor to uh, have a phone call with President Biden, and it was music to my ear to hear the way he described to me uh, how the United States are moving towards uh, the common goal um, to uh, become climate neutral. And uh, to put it in a frame where I am convinced and this college is convinced that's the right way to go. Uh, just to describe that new growth strategy for our economies. It's a lot of innovation behind it. There's a lot of new technologies behind it. And this combination of innovation, resources we put in, of course, people who expect us to improve on that, is a fascinating one. It's um, with a lot of work we have to do together, but um, it's the right way to go. And of course, as Europeans, we are aware of the fact that we have to uh, contribute to the common cause, but we can do it alone. And therefore, to have you at our side as friends and allies is enormously important for us. Another point that struck me um, during this pandemic is um, when we speak about climate change, we are often speaking about melting glaciers or desertification or extreme weather uh, uh, situations. All these topics are well known, but this pandemic also taught us that one of the breeding grounds for this pandemic is the loss of biodiversity and the complex world behind it. And uh, we see now the width of consequences climate change brings along, and the urge and the necessity for us to really move forward rapidly. We have an ambitious roadmap ahead of us this year. It starts with uh, Earth Day on the 22nd of April. Very much looking forward to that. President Biden is inviting. And of course, then the roadmap towards Glasgow in November of this year. So uh, we are very eager here in this college to listen to you and then, of course, engage in a uh, dialogue, in a conversation, in a discussion on that. So a very warm welcome again.